Fen. I'm an electrical engineering student at Drexel, and I'm uh, currently working at NASA. One day at um, practice, Coach Lee said, you're not accelerating through your lunges. So I was like, I feel like I am. I brought an accelerometer today, and we're going to see if I accelerate through my lunges or not. An English fencer has very high point speed during the attacks, or sometimes counterattacks. Fen, when he first started working here, uh, had a very disconnected point from his lunge, meaning he sometimes even pulled it back as his lunge. A good attack will combine the acceleration from the extension and the leg work of the lunge. I am hooking up an accelerometer to the point of the little Pepe. This right here is the accelerometer itself. This is just a breakout. So you can see that it's going to measure in X or X, Y, and Z coordinates. And we're going to measure it on my laptop over here. Right now I'm going to calibrate the sensor. So you can see the first readings are right there. That's a circle six. This is where we hit Daniel. This is measured in G's or gravity force. Um, so this is a 3G force that we hit. This is the velocity from acceleration. What? No. No. Acting. Okay, do you want to continue doing this? Are you recording? Are you yes. gonna edit this? Okay. Do you want to continue the normal lessons? Well, let's do one more. And then we'll continue on. <laughs> yeah, better, better, better. That's it. That's we want to see a good, smooth acceleration throughout the lunge. So let's take, for example, this lunge right here. It looks great because, you know, it's a lot of uh, spiking magnitude, but it's not a smooth acceleration. So uh, if we go look at this one right here, you can see it starts with a good advance, bang. So this is a smooth lunge. So this means it's I've accelerated throughout the lunge and land at a good spot. Well, I guess you could say if you have a question, go try to figure it out because you never know where it's gonna leave. Yeah, I practice that much. <laughs>